air and the knowledge that this has all the makings of a vibrant and compelling encounter. Anticipation levels are sky high and every expectation this game will live up to its billing. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello, it's great to be with you and I don't think anybody is going to complain especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson and we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Nottingham Forest versus Arsenal. Thanks Derek. Well both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, it's a back four, a narrow midfield three and a very disconnected front three. But if the midfield players give good support to the central striker, this 4-3-3 system could work really well today. Now well, possibilities in the centre. Gibbs White. And Chris Wood. Well, that's the sign of a well-organised defence. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus. Good run, very much in control of the situation. William Saliba. Now Zinchenko. Kai Havertz. Alexander Zinchenko. And out of play for a forest throw. Willy Bolly. Declan Rice. It's with Erdogan. Ben White. White. Martin Erdegaard. Lovely tempo to this passing sequence. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. And Kai Havertz. And still looking for space. Credit to them for winning back possession. Trying to open them up. Gibbs White. And defensive play to be applauded. Jesus. And pull back. Can they take the lead here? And getting in the way of that superb defensive play. William Saliba. Gabriel Martinelli. Martinelli. Now veering in field. Well, he knows what he's doing defensively. Dominguez. It's with Aurel Mongala. Nicolas Dominguez. Wood with it. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Wood. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect.
Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Havertz. Now Zinchenko. Gabriel. Kai Havertz. And promising stuff from Arsenal. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? Looking for someone to play it to. Prime tackle there to prevent the chance. Ibrahim Songare. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Options in the centre. Nicolas Dominguez. Timely intervention. Would the owner of a silver hatchback with a Jesus GR twenty Martinelli? L An encouraging Arsenal move. And Kai Havertz. Martinelli. And there it is. One nil. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, I think that shows what a good rapport he has with the players. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. One nil then. Number eleven, Gabriel Martinelli. Murillo. Toffolo. <laughs> Ibrahim Songare. Now Orie. Willy Boni. Nicolas Dominguez on the offensive. But they took care of the situation defensively. Kai Havertz. Clear to see who got the last touch. So a throw in it'll be. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Number 20, Jorginho. Aurier. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Murillo. Ibrahim Songare. Willy Boli. Dominguez patient build up at the moment and here they come still pressing for an equaliser Morgan Gibbs White nicely timed tackle and the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack have to pay attention defensively still alive and mopping up defensively Well, these fans are right behind the team here. Can they get the equaliser, though? Gives White. Mongala. And he keeps going. And options in the centre. Aurier. Determined defending. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Martinelli. Rice with it. Can he finish them off? And denied by the keeper. Impressive. And there goes the final whistle. 
It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today.